In August of 2018, I started a challenge, a wormhole challenge. And today, in May of 2021, I'm going to start another challenge, a misty challenge. You may, of course, be wondering why I'm dressed like this. And uh, besides the fact that this is how I always dress, it's also how a certain character from the Pokemon games dresses. That's right. Brock. Hold on. That's not right. It's not Brock. It's Misty. Uh, Misty is the one who dresses like this. Misty is known to have a certain Pokemon with her. That Pokemon? Togepi. Now, Togepi is known for many things, not the least of which being exceptionally cute, but also the fact that Togepi is very, very useless. And if you know me, and you know Pokemon challenges that I do, uh, oftentimes they too will be very useless. We even named a character, a Pokemon useless. Uh, we, we got a Mudkip. We named him useless. A lot of people found that rude. What can you do? It's the Whirlpool Challenge. But that's not what we're doing here today. Today we're doing the Misty Challenge. What is the Misty Challenge, you ask? Well, it's a challenge where we only use Togepi. That's right. Only using Togepi. Togepi only run. Specifically, what I want to do is only use Metronome. The move metronome. Now, for those who don't know, the move metronome is known for being many things, not the least of which being uh, very cute, but also completely random. It'll do whatever it goddamn wants. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to try to learn only metronome. It's going to happen. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to jump into the game. Let's 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 get into it. Pokemon Crystal version. We played Pokemon Emerald. We defeated it. We got through every single gym leader and the Elite Four. It was not easy, nor was it fun, but it certainly was a good time. That remains to be seen. Here's one thing that it was is finished. We did it. We beat it. It was hell. It was hell, but it's over now, and I just have to jump back into it. So, we're gonna play this game. It is Pokemon Crystal version. I grew up with this game. Am I a boy or am I a girl? I answered boy. We're gonna restart is what we're gonna do, because we're playing Misty! How are we gonna say we're a boy when we're playing a Misty? It's Misty! We're gonna try again. We're a Goyle, obviously. Uh, so yeah, this is a game that I grew up with. I don't know about you. I don't know about you, but I grew up with this game. Uh, this was a lot of fun. This this was not my game that I first started with. I first started with Pokemon Yellow version. Pokemon Yellow version. Great version. Great game. Uh, love it. Gen 1, obviously. What's that to love? What time is it? What time is it? Hold on. 7 o'clock. What night? 7 o'clock? How many minutes? I don't know. 7 minutes. 7.07. Uh, whoa, 7 minutes? Yeah. Night? 7.07? It's not how you spell night. No wonder it's so dark. Yeah, uh, so it was yellow version that I played a lot, and then I played, uh, ruby version. Those were my two main ones, actually. It was, uh, ruby and yellow, not in that order. Um, those were my two versions, and this game, I did play it, just not as much, and then I didn't really play anything after that. I didn't, I didn't play, uh, for Gen 4, uh, because I didn't have a DS or whatever the hell. Not, you know, a friggin' fancy device. I just had a flip, an SP, a Game Boy Advance SP. That was my jam. The Game Boy Advance SP was awesome because it could play both games! It could play both games. It could play Pokemon, Gen 1, Gen 2, Gen 3! And it was backlit. That was a huge thing. We didn't have no fancy backlit uh, game consoles when I was growing up. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Prof. I'm the Professor. This world is inhabited by creatures that we call Pokemon. People and Pokemon live together by supporting each other. Some people play with Pokemon. Some battle with them. Some have drinks with them. A, sp a spot of tea, perhaps. But we don't know everything about Pokemon yet. There are still many mysteries to solve. That's why I study Pokemon every day. Now, what did you say your name was? Now, I'm gonna go... Hey, Jody, that's my fiancé's name. Just not spelt like that. That's the wrong way to spell it. Uh, I'm gonna break from tradition. Usually my tradition is to name every character that I play as Link. Today we defy these, defy these rules because we're playing as the Misty Challenge! 
Of course, we're gonna play. We're gonna name him Misty because that's what we're goddamn. Pl that's literally who we are playing as is Misty. So we gotta do it. We we literally have to. Misty, are you ready? Your very own Pokemon story is about to unfold. You'll face fun times and tough challenges. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon. Oh wait, let's go! I'll be seeing you later. All right, settle down there, Oak. Hell yeah, look at us, a new adventure. Oh, it's awesome. First things first, we're gonna goddamn change this tech speed. I don't know why this is at default to fast. That's so, it's, uh, no, no, who, 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 who? Not me, for sure. Hey mom, what's up? Elm Misty, our neighbor, Prof Elm, was looking for- Not Elm, not Oak. Not Elm? Yes, Elm. Not Oak. He said he wanted you to do something for him. Oh, I almost forgot. Your Pokemon gear is back from the repair shop. Don't know why everyone's British. It's not, uh, Galar region or whatever. Here you go! Pop on off, old chap! I received the Poke gear. This is good. Uh, Pokemon Gear, or Poke Gear for short. Now, wait a second. We know that Pokemon stands for Pocket Monsters. So you're trying to tell me that Poke Gear stands for Pokemon Gear, which stands for Pocket Monster Gear. So that's like a, a portmanteau inside a portmanteau. That's not right. You can't have two portmanteaus. That's like a portman portmanteau toe. That doesn't even make sense. That'd be like if you were to say, like, if you had an, uh, um, a uh, conjunction, uh, a, a mixed up word, like can't, where if you said can't, but I can't, and it was I, I can't, I can't. It'd be like saying I can't. What kind of sense does I can't make? None, all right? You can't say Pokemon gear, Poke gear. It's essential if you want to be a good trainer. Oh, the day of the week isn't set. You mustn't forget that. What day is it? I record these episodes on Monday, by the way, so... Oh, is it daylight savings time now? God damn. All right. This, I don't know. I don't know. Nobody knows daylight savings time. Nobody understands it. It's a lie. I don't think it's real. Have you ever even seen a daylight savings time? Answer honestly. Okay. 7-Eleven. That's a great deal, I say. Come home to adjust your clock for daylight savings time. I won't. By the way, do you know how to use the phone? This question is a lie. This question is a filthy lie. It doesn't matter what you choose. Does not matter what you choose. She explains it to you anyway. Watch. No. I'll read the instructions. <laughs> Turn the Poke Gear on and select the phone icon. Phone numbers are stored in memory. Just choose a name you want to call. Gee, isn't that convenient? Now, if I had said yes, she would have said the same goddamn thing to me. All right. Bye, Mom. <laughs> Thanks for the talk. I can always count on you. We're going to talk to our friend, Professor Elm. Hello, Professor Elm. I always thought that he had a mohawk. I don't think he does. Like when you see his icon show up, he doesn't have a, he doesn't have a mohawk, but his little sprite here, not when it faces me, but when it's facing straight head on, apply directly to the forehead, uh, it's uh, it's it's a mohawk. Mohawk, I have a mohawk. Can't see it. Silhouette there. Mohawk. Misty, there you are. I have the same voice as Oak. I needed to ask you a favor. I'm conducting new Pokemon research right now. If I, I was wondering if you could help me with it, Misty. You see, I'm writing a paper that I want to present at a conference. This is boring, but there are some things I don't quite understand yet. Wait, about Pokemon? The subject you're studying? How could you possibly enlist the help of a 10-year-old girl to help you with this research? And it's supposed to be something you don't understand. For a research paper, you're gonna deliver at a conference. How can I possibly help at a time like this? You're literally a professor of the subject. I got a lot of questions. So, I'd like you to raise a Pokemon that I recently caught. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll do it. I mean, I don't have anything better to do. Thanks, Misty. You're a great help. I thought so too. Thanks a lot, Professor. Uh, when I announce my findings, I'm sure we'll delve in a bit deeper into the many mysteries of Pokemon. You can count on it. All right, sounds good. So, uh-oh, oh God, oh hey, I got an email. Just let me go, I just wanna play my goddamn game, hmm? Uh-huh, okay, yes. <laughs> my porn is coming, it's finally loaded. Hey, this was the time where you had to actually wait for that stuff. Hey, listen, I have an acquaintance called Mr. Pokemon. He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Anyway, I just got an email from him saying that this time it's real. 
Yeah, he's uh, usually just a load of nonsense and bollocks, if you will, but for this time, he's for real. It is intriguing, but we're busy with our Pokemon research. Wait! I know! Misty, can you go in our place? Who's this hour now? Who's our now? His place? Who's pl his own pl Yo, you? This is our nonsense. I want you to raise one of the Pokemon contained in these balls. Don't make any jokes about this. You'll be that Pokemon's first trainer, partner, Misty. Go on, pick one. Well, let's see what we got here. We got, of course, Totodile. We have, of course, we've got Totodile. He's he's a classic. He's he's he's. So you like Totodile? No. See, Totodile is one of the tr starters that you get here. Who else do we got? We got Chikorita is one and Cyndaquil are the others. Those are my two. So I hope this next one is Cyndaquil. That's that's what we're going to find out here. Oh, that's weird. It's Totodile again. I wonder if this last one will also be Totodile. Nope, it's a Togepi. Uh, <laughs> so I, I, I got this program. It's a Pokemon randomizer, and it kind of allows you to... Uh, reconfigure these games that you're so used to and are so beloved, right? And kind of tweak them in ways that help you out in or hinder you in some way. For example, uh, I said it so that one of them would be Togepi, which I would choose, and the other two would be Totodile. Uh, the reason I did that is because I wanted it to be a little bit harder, so I was trying to figure out which starter that the rival would choose is the uh, hardest one for Togepi to fight. And I couldn't really find one that was good because Togepi is a normal type and the others are purely whatever type they are. Even their further evolutions, they don't really change. Like later on, you get... Uh... No, I don't think we want to rename the Togepi. Uh, later on, some in, in some, you get like fire and fighting type. I think uh, in, in Gen 3, the Pokemon that I can't remember, Torchic, becomes like a fighting type. Blaziken, I think, is fighting type as well as fire. But not in Gen 2. It's all just fire, water, or grass. And none of those are super effective or not anything against Togepi. But I think I looked it up and I was looking up their move sets that they could learn and like one of them had like a fighting t or something that was more effective against Togepi than others. I don't remember. I decided to Totodile. Totodile is just one of my favorites that from that Dan. That's usually what I pick anyway. So call me if anything comes up. Don't care. Thanks. I got Elm's phone number. Again, we're not going to talk about why this professor is just hanging out with all these kids. It's the same in every generation. It's just like I'm an elderly man. And I'm hanging out with all these kids. It's a problem. It's the back to the future problem. It's like, why? Nobody ever questions it. I did get a potion, though, so at least we have that. All right, we're off on a grand adventure now. Here is where we hit our first snag. Now, uh, one thing that I did not find in the Pokemon randomizer, and maybe I just overlooked it, maybe there is a setting, uh, was how to manipulate the move set of the Pokemon, because I haven't been able to do that. You'll notice that Togepi has two moves right now, Growl and Charm, neither of which do damage. Uh, so what we're going to have to do is run from every battle that we come across until we get Pokeballs. And once that happens... Once that happens, we will be able to... Uh-oh. Uh we'll be able to catch a Pokemon that we can use to get Togepi leveled up to learn Metronome. I just realized a serious flaw in my plan. I don't know that we get Pokeballs until after the fight with the rival, which is a mandatory, it's a Pokemon trainer fight, battle fight. This could be an issue for us. Well, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, honestly. Uh-oh, oh, can't escape. Uh-oh, oh, we might've crossed that bridge now. Well, now we escaped, it's fine. I'm gonna heal my Togepi. Uh, we're in Evergreen City or whatever the hell it just said. Uh, and I'm already healing my Pokemon because I already took damage. It's been I guess, bam. immediate, but we, we already took damage. So episode one, not off to a good start. Hopefully we can buy Pokeballs right goddamn now, but I'm not sure that we can. We can't. This bodes ill. Hopefully things will be good. If not, we might have to go into panic mode, which I don't love to do. I don't know what the rules are for can't escape. I feel like it's level based, you know? Like if a uh, Pokemon is like, if I'm level 90 and I come across like a level two Pokemon, it's going to be like, whatever, you can just get away. No problem. But not if it's like more evenly matched like this. So I don't know. I was able to get away. Hey, look at this. We made it to Mr. Pokemon's house. Hello, hello, you must be Misty. Professor Elm said that you will visit. <laughs> this is what I want Professor Elm to examine. 
Misty received the mystery egg. That's good. Dude, can you uh, speak at a quieter volume? Your voice is an affront to my ears. I know a couple who run a Pokemon daycare service. No, I guess you can't. They gave me that egg. I was intrigued, so I sent mail to Professor Elm. For Pokemon evolution, Professor Elm is the authority. Even Professor Oak here recognizes that. If my assumption is correct, Professor Elm would know it. Oh, good. And here he is. Ah, so you're Misty. I'm Oak, a Pokemon researcher. I was just visiting my old friend, Mr. Pokemon. I heard you were running an errand for Professor Elm, so I waited here. No, oh, what's this? A rare Pokemon. A Togepi, let's see. Hmm, I see. I understand why Professor Elm gave you a Pokemon for this errand. To researchers like Professor Elm and I, Pokemon are our friends. He saw that you would treat your Pokemon with love and care. Ah, you seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out? See, this is the latest version of their Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen a cart. My accent's a bit wavering here. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. <laughs> I might be going Australian. That's okay. It's K now. Go, go meet many cards of Pokemon and complete that Pokedex, mate. But I've stayed too long. I'll have to get my golden rod for my usual radio shell. Misty, I'm counting on ya. All right, cool. You are returning to Professor Elm. Here, your Pokemon should have some rest. Oh, thanks. That's nice of you. I gotta ask you to just lower your voice just a little bit, though. It's it's killing my ears. I'm dependent on you. Ow. Okay, great. Well, oh, who's this now? Is it spam? Ha! Huh. Hello, Misty. It's a disaster. Oh, um, it's just terrible. What should I do? It? Oh no! Please get back here now. Click. I don't know who that was. I, I recognize the name, but not the voice. Uh, we might have a problem. I'm very- Wait, hold on. What's this now? What's this now? Take this item from you. It's a berry. Who gave you a berry? You can't eat those. You're allergic. Uh, yeah, we might have a little bit of a problem here in the, uh, fact that once- Because once we get to the city we were just at, again, back to it, uh, we're gonna fight our rival, and if I get there and I can't buy Pokeballs, damn it! And I can't buy Pokeballs, then that means that I can't buy them at all. And that I'll have to find a way around this. I don't know what I'll do in that case. Uh, I might have to just do some shenanigans to make all this work, but we'll... Again, bridges come to it, crossing them, that's when that will happen at. Alright, here we go. Man, this is it. This is it. This is for all the beans. Welcome. How may I help you? Bye. Oh, no. I feel our journey is at an end because, well, let's, let's save first. Yeah, this could be an issue for us. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Yeah. Here we are. Fighting our rival. Now, this is, this is, this is an issue because we're, we're not, we can't do it. We can't fight him. We can't do it. We, we can't fight him. We, we don't have any moves that can fight him. Uh-oh. Oh, look, he's got a toe to dial. Who could have predicted this? Well, I guess we could charm him. I don't know how... I don't know how much use I'm gonna get out of this. Uh, we could always go to our old standby of, um... Remember the Whirlpool Challenge? Just trying to heal ourselves until they run out of, uh, moves to use, and they also... run out of moves to use and you struggle? We could do that. Or maybe we can, uh, get past this fight if we lose. Maybe we can. Is that possible? It was a waste of time? Oh, I think it's possible. Okay, well, never mind. I think we're back in. Oh, I thought we were doomed. Wait a minute. Wait, how's my... Whoa, 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 whoa. Is my Pokemon dead? No, he's back to full. That was actually the best thing that could have happened. Well, great. You know, I never even considered the fact that, like, you could still proceed in the game. I honestly thought that it was like any other trainer battle. And if you lose, you lose. If you die in the game, you die for real, you know. Uh, I thought it was the same thing, but turns out not to be the case. Uh, so what we can do now is to talk to this guy and this cop. Yeah, I heard a Pokemon was stolen here. I was just getting some information from Professor Elm. Apparently, it was a young male with long red hair. What? You battled a trainer like that? Did you happen to get his name? Now, I always name this character Knil, like K-N-I-L, uh, because Link backwards. And so I'm going to keep the tradition alive but I'm instead gonna name it Misty backwards. That's right, it's your boy Eats Him. <laughs> it's Eats Him, everyone's Okay, so Eats Him was his name. 
Thanks for helping my investigation. Gotta go. He's out of here. All right, hey, what's up? Misty, this is terrible. Oh, yes, what was Mr. Pokemon? Mr. Pokemon's big discovery. I handed the mystery egg to Professor Elm. Ah, this? Yeah. This. But, is it a Pokemon egg? No. If it is, it is a great discovery. It's not. What? Professor Elm gave you a Pokedex? Misty, that's true. Th th that's incredible. This guy is having just the wackiest day of his life, don't you think? He is superb at seeing the potential of people as trainers. Wow, Misty, you may have what it takes to become the champion. You seem to be getting on great with Pokemon too. You should take the Pokemon Gym Challenge. How about the Misty Challenge? That's the one I'm gonna take. The closest gym would be the one in Violet City. Misty, the road to the championship will be a long one. Before you leave, make sure that you talk to your mom. All right, please just don't tell me what to do. All right, this is my life. It's now or never. I ain't gonna live forever. Misty, use these on your Pokedex quest. Yes, now we're in. Now we got it. All right, we caught, we, we got Pokeballs. So now what we can do is we can catch a Pokemon, any random old Pokemon will do, and then we can use that Pokemon to train Togepi up to level seven. That's all it is, level seven to get Metronome. So I'm gonna go do that. Oh, but first I gotta talk to my, my, my dear old mom because she can, uh, she can do nice things for me. So. What she will do is uh, save money if I ask her to, and then use that money to buy things, which uh, it, it's better than it sounds because you get good stuff that way. I think there are some items that you can only get by doing that, or, or maybe that's not correct. Maybe it's not only get, but it's definitely something. All right, I'm gonna go catch a Pokemon. Uh-oh, oh God, this guy. You know what? We're not even gonna bother with this guy. And he's done. That was nice of him to show me that. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna catch any old rando Poco Mono. For example, this one here is a cheeky little Hoot Hoot. Boy, what an unoriginal name is Hoot Hoot. People always complain about like the new Pokemon being like not very creative and everything. I don't, I don't complain about that, but some people do. Hoot Hoot though, Hoot Hoot. What do you name this, uh, what do you name this cat Pokemon? I don't know, how about friggin' Meow Meow? Actually, there was one called Meowth. Ooh, that's awkward. All right, well, whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll catch Hoot Hoot. He, he won't be too much of a problem. Now, I know that you're supposed to wound Pokemon uh, in order to catch them, and I ain't doing that, but look, I caught it anyway. It's fine, because I'm, I'm good. I'm good at this game. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Uh, all right, so we're going to name this Hoot Hoot. We're going to give it a nickname. I usually don't give nicknames to Pokemon. This one we're going to do. We're going to call it... Useless. That's what we got to do, all right? Listen, it's Pokemon Whirlpool Challenge. No, it's not. Oh, God, it's the Misty Challenge. What a cruel mistake. Uh, but here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna leave Togepi first. I was about to switch, but that's not what we're gonna do. We're gonna leave Togepi first. We're gonna wander around indefinitely until Togepi learns Metronome, and that could take years. So why don't we do it on the next, e well, do it between episodes. In the next episode, we will have Metronome. We will have Togepi, and we will have the skills to pay the bills. See you then, everybody. Until then, keep watching. Okay, finally defeated my first Pokemon, and I got eight experience points for doing so. Togepi didn't level up once. Cool.